today I want us uh, to be achieving this this voltage and uh, for you who really want to deal with the small circuits uh, uh, perhaps uh, 5 volts 6 10 DC uh, this will help you now one thing to achieve this besides using any batteries because battery sucks you have a battery here uh, which you need it to supply something for you and then they drain so quickly very 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 quickly so what we do here is that uh, we have to to use a transformer now let's have uh, a clear picture of our transformer So this is our transformer and this will be a step down transformer and uh, we will have 240 volts AC and then because it is a, a step down transformer we will have here 12 volts but still AC. But uh, remember, we need 5 volts, if you can choose a number. So as we all know, that uh, with our transformers, we are able to get a, a, a smaller quantity of uh, voltage, but we need to supply our circuit. Now, what we need to do here is uh, we really need to employ in some something we all know as diodes. Uh, a diode is something like this. That's the that's our diode. Now, assuming we are having a, our DC circuit here. which is which will be supplying our small light here now since since the uh, uh, since this circuit is connected to the battery directly it will definitely work because we know that a diode works in one way one direction that's forward biased and now if you look at here our current will flow in our diode but what if we change this into an AC supply let's look at this this is still our diode and then here we have our small load here there so this is an AC what happens because we know very well that from our sine wave our AC will be like that so we have a cycle here which is uh, negative positive negative positive so what happens that during a negative a positive cycle our light will have some light here but what about during our positive cycle we won't because again this doesn't allow any current passing it through the reverse burst so this circuit will be open so what does it mean this means that uh, this bulb will work but it will glow uh, assuming our frequency is 50 hertz then it means that every 0 0.02 seconds this will glow of course it will be noticeable you'll be able to notice it so what do we do that's why we will have to use 
something like a bridge circuit. A bridge circuit which is like this. For all of you that are well much familiar with some of the electronic circuits. Uh, now we have a bridge circuit which we can have this one as a positive and this one as our negative. Now you will have your your diode here and then you have your diode there and then you have your diode there and then you have your diode there. Now those are four diodes and this is referred to as a bridge rectifier circuit. And uh, this one now can supply your load. But now as as we referred to our sine wave, this. If you look at this, uh, this is all forward biased. These two diodes are all forward biased. Now what happens is during the positive cycle, we are having current flowing. And also during our negative cycle, we are also having current moving. This is our AC and now now here we have a voltage here. This is AC but now this one is still AC and pulsating but the sine wave this time changes. Changes to that. So meaning that this is not pure AC because there's still some pulsating there. So what do we need? We need a, a, a filter capacitor here. So for it now to be pure DC. And this will be a pure DC of the same mag uh, magnitude as the output of the transformer because this has only helped us to smoothen uh, but uh, it has not changed any uh, any current, I mean uh, any voltage. So our voltage here will remain 12. So as you remember on our, our first uh, circuit here. So like I showed you already, we will have our bridge here. We'll have a bridge here and like I said we'll have that and then you will have this draw this you can first draw this and then it will give you an easier way of doing it now your SC will have to connect here like that okay now from here Mm. from here we will have here this and now this so now I already told you that this is pulsating because I already drew this earlier and I told you after the bridge the, what we have the voltage we have is this is it still AC so uh, we have a capacitor here, a filter capacitor, which will be like 1000 microfarad. This. Now we have a DC 12 volts here. But as I told you earlier, we needed 5 volts. Now what do we do? So what we do, uh, let's take this, uh, we will have to employ an alligator and uh, we can say L M7805. This is a voltage alligator and uh, this number 05 it denotes the output. It is the output voltage right here. Now, what we do, we will have to 
employed here. Remember, before we put a regulator, we have a 12 volts DC. Now we have to put our regulator here, like that. And uh, this regulator, like you see in this picture, it has three legs. One leg, the middle one will go to the ground, the other leg will be the input, and another leg will be and another leg will be the output. Now, here, we have 5 volts DC. Reason being that we have already employed our regulator, and I've told you that this number, if you're buying a regulator, they vary, you have this number here. 0, 5, meaning this would not the... Uh, the, power, the the voltage output of this uh, regulator here. But wait, maybe perhaps you're asking yourself, why do we have to use a 12 volts AC uh, and we still have transformers that uh, can give an output of the exact voltage? Now, the other one thing uh, you have uh, to understand is that this regulator, it can uh, w w take in that amount of 12 volts, uh, th th uh, this 12 volts DC, because you will have read the specification of it. It depends on the application of, uh, of, of the circuit. But that's not uh, a problem. Uh, I will have uh, to show you here why now still if we go back to to our transformer here if we go back here and remember we said here that this is 240 and then the output here the output here is 12 volts now this is what we chose but we have our regulator here that we talked about earlier, which is 5 volts output. This is 5 volts. And then this one will be 12 volts. Then this is the ground. Uh, the J. But most, most, uh, most times we were told that this voltage is always constant. But remember that this voltage Uh, if there is a, a fluctuation here, uh, and let's say our uh, our voltage dropped to 200, to 200 volts, definitely this one will also drop, perhaps to 9 volts. Then that means that uh, because... Uh, no matter how much voltage our regulator takes in, so long as it's not below 5 voltage, the output will always be 5. So even if here we had 6V, we would still have 5 voltage. But the problem is to have a significant amount of drop here. Then take an example. Uh, if if our transformer output was 5 voltage or per se 6 voltage, our transformer output, which is good. And now we are, and now later, our voltage drop here to something less than this. And then definitely this will drop to 4 volts. So you see where we are going. Then that means that our regulator won't be able to give us the output of 5 volts. It will definitely give us something less than 4 or 4. Uh, I hope we get that. So that's the main reason why we would prefer to use a transformer with a higher output. At least 12. Even if we had some fluctuation at the... Uh, a fluctuation at the transformer here and then uh, the, uh, our voltage drop will definitely have because this is a regulator we we'll definitely have our amount of voltage that we wanted and remember the other thing is that this doesn't generate more voltage it doesn't generate more voltage uh, if it's five voltage output that will be five voltage output uh, okay 
there is uh, one more thing that uh, uh, you wanted to, to to show you. Now, look at this. You might uh, those who also who don't know why we use a capacitor in in uh, in our circuit. Uh, now, like here. Uh, remember before we said here we have uh, uh, the output here is 12 volts and then uh, our sine wave is this but uh, we had to put a regulator to achieve these 5 volts this because a regulator itself it's 5 volts so we had to employ in a capacitor now because because here our sine wave before the capacitor is like that now if you put a capacitor because if we remember the use of a capacitor if we employ your capacitor remember these are dropping y you know you have a sine wave that goes up and it drops goes up it drops goes up but if you employ in a capacitor in this circuit In this circuit, it means that it will bridge these gaps, all of them. Then, the final results of our voltage will be like this. This, because of this capacitor, it would have bridged this gap. Okay, thank you very much, uh, my dear friends if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, i also want to thank you for viewing this video you can still subscribe also thank the viewers and also the people that have subscribed to my channel thank you very much and uh, just have a good one